Well, hey, good morning. It's Wednesday, October the 14th. Hello, Voyagers. Today I have several smaller items that I want to update you about. The first has to do with an upcoming study that we're going to be starting next week. It's based on this book that I've been highlighting the last month or so called uh, How to Pray by Pete Craig. And they're going to be reading two chapters a week. And at the end of the week, I'm going to post a couple of discussion questions that we can respond to via text or email or something like that. So we're not going to be meeting in person. We're not going to be meeting via Zoom call. I think it's going to work fairly well to do it this way. That way we can eliminate the in-person contact as much as possible, as well as the overabundance, I think, of Zoom calls. I think most of us are Zoomed out when it comes to Zoom calls. So uh, that would be good to eliminate that for this particular study. So... Um, by now, most of you have gotten a copy of the book already. Uh, some of you have been waiting for it and you have it. Uh, well, you can start reading. If you don't have a copy yet, you've got a couple days to get started. We're going to begin the study uh, on Monday. So you've got, you know, from now until next weekend, actually, the weekend of the 24th, I believe it will be, uh, to uh, read those first two chapters, the introduction and the chapters one and two. Not a lot of reading, but there's some good meaty stuff in these chapters. So you might want to take your time as you read through them. And then I'll post a discussion by the end of the week, probably on Friday or Saturday, and you can respond. And then we'll move on to the uh, next couple chapters the following week. And so we'll kind of do this for about a five or six week period of time. I think it will work out to be about six weeks. And then we'll have read through the entire book, okay? So we'd love for, for you to uh, get a copy if you haven't already gotten one. And we'll just work our way through this incredibly insightful book um, on prayer, a topic that we think we know a lot about. And at, at the end of the day, a book like this one comes along that really uh, offers some great insights that I hope you'll find also very helpful. Secondly, uh, aside from that, let me just challenge you to prayerfully consider donating, donating to this year's Team World Vision. Now, our team this year is a bit smaller. There's only three of us uh, that are part of this team this year. But any three of us, any one of us, will accept your donation. You've been so gracious in the past, and it would be great if you could donate us, donate to our team once again this year. Again, if you're unfamiliar with the purpose of this team, it's to raise money for clean drinking water. Uh, many countries, especially the villages and countries of Africa, have an inadequate amount of clean drinking water. So the money that we raise helps them dig wells right there in their villages so they don't have to wander miles and miles to go and find that clean drinking water. So in the attached email, you'll find links so that you can go online and donate as you feel led to do so. So to raise this money, we have two people running on Sunday morning. Uh, since the Grand Rapids Marathon has been canceled this year, our team is participating in the larger uh, team known as Grand Rapids Team World Vision. And they are actually hosting an in-person race this coming Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday morning down at Riverside Park. It's a three and a half mile loop, or I'm sorry, it's like a four mile loop. You're going to do like three times or four, four times, something like that, around the park, which will equate to a, a half marathon distance. So both Kara, my wife, and Michelle Tonemaker are going to be part of that race on Sunday morning. I'm going to go down there, and you're welcome to go down there and cheer them on after church as well. If they're still out there running, they may be finished by then, but perhaps you'll get a chance to uh, cheer them on if you go down early enough. Well, because I've not trained as hard as these two, I'll be running a different race and uh, all by myself, actually. It's called the 6K in seven days, and so it's an alternative to uh, the in-person race uh, with a bunch of people. I'm going to be running by myself. This 6K, which is like 3.8 some miles, I think it is, each day for seven straight days. That's an equivalent to a full marathon. So I've never done this before. Most people have. I've never run seven days in a row ever. Uh, it's a lot, but I'm going to make my best attempt at it because I think this is going to be a better fit for me and the training that I've done or the lack of. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, in either instance, please keep all of us in your prayers. We are all subject to injuries, so please pray for our health and our safety. Uh, in addition, please pray for Michelle, who will not only be running on Sunday, but will be heading out for another Team World Vision event next weekend called Rim to Rim. She'll be hiking down into the Grand Canyon and then hiking back out, all within a uh, daylight period of time, all in one day. So if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon before, you know that this is not an easy task, especially getting back out. So let's all be in prayer for her as well. 
And finally, let, let me just challenge you this morning with a passage that I read earlier uh, today in my devotions, and it comes from Exodus 25. Uh, 1 through 8. Let me just read these words for you. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel to bring me their sacred offerings. Accept the contributions from all whose hearts are moved to offer them. Here is a list of sacred offerings you may accept from them. Gold, silver, and bronze. Blue, purple, and scarlet thread. Fine linen and goat hair for cloth tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the lamp, spices for the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, onyx stones and other gemstones to be set in the ephod of the priest's chest piece. Have the people of Israel build me a holy sanctuary so I can live among them. Here, I think in order to create this amazing house, this tabernacle for God, the Israelites are called to sacrifice some of the most precious things that they would have had, things like gold and silver and bronze, and they sacrificed their leather and their olive oil. As they felt led to, they were called to give that important gift toward building the house of God, this first dwelling place for God, what we call the tabernacle. So in light of this, here's a question I want to challenge you with today as we wrap up. It goes like this. What will you give God today? How will you give your resources, your wealth, your gifts, your time? Some of you will surely feel compelled to give some of your money to the church or to this cause I've already mentioned, Team World Vision. Others of you might feel led by God to give of your time in an act of service. Whatever it is, I want you to prayerfully consider something you might give away Today, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be in the late evening, so maybe tomorrow's the, the day you really prayerfully consider what you might give away on that particular day. May God help you relinquish something and to give it right on back to Him. That's enough for today. That's enough for now. God bless you, and I'll see some of you on Sunday morning. Well, have a great, great day. God bless.